Hello friends, this video on areas related to circles part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1. Now let's understand area of the circle. To find area of the circle, what we have done is, this circle we have divided into 16 equal parts. The reason I'll tell you, we have what we have done the first thing is we divide this into 16 equal parts blue white blue white blue white and we arrange in this fashion 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 the 16 are arranged in this pattern if you see this looks like a rectangle and if you see the length of this is nothing but half of perimeter why because if you add from here to here and also from here to here this point to this point let me name this point A, B, C, D, etc. So if you take the distance from A to B and C to D, this is perimeter, correct? So this is nothing but pi into 2R, that is A, B and C, D distance and both are equal actually, correct? So A, B will be half of this, see A, B plus C, D was pi into 2R, this is the perimeter of the circle. So AB will be half of this because AB is equal to CD, you can see. So AB is nothing but pi r. Correct? If you see this value AD, this is nothing but r. All are r only. This is r, this is, everything is r. This length is r and this length is pi r. So if you know the formula of square, for square the area is nothing but length into breadth. So here the area, area will be pi r into r length into breadth and this will be pi r square. Thus the area of a circle is nothing but pi into r into r that is pi r square. So the area of the circle is pi r square. So let me repeat don't get confused perimeter of circle we found is nothing but 2 pi r and area is nothing but pi r square and this will be something in meter and this will be meter square logical also as you can see this is only has only one r so it will be in meter because we are talking about the distance so it is in meter 2 pi r and this is area so it is r square correct so it will be meter square is note perimeter is the distance covered in one complete rotation and area is the total area covered so area is always in meter square or centimeter square kilometer square depending on the unit or it's a unit square and perimeter is always in the unit form 2 pi r and this is pi r square very very critical formula let's take some example the question says the radius of two circles are 19 cm and 9 cm. Find the radius of the circle which has circumference equal to sum of the circumference of two circles. That is you have one circle here. You have one more circle here. You will say circle 1, circle 2. From this circle you get one bigger circle and this circle called circle 3. And let's suppose this is R1 radius and let's this has radius R2 and let's assume this has radius R3. Correct. The question says circumference of the bigger circle equal to circumference of the two small circles. So it says that the condition is I like the condition circumference of C1 plus C2, this is equal to circumference of C3. This is my condition. Correct. So circumference of C1 is what? 2 pi r1. Circumference of C2 is what? 2 pi r2. And this will be equal to circumference of circle C3 that is 2 pi r3. Value of R1 and R2 is known. We have to find the value of R3. Correct. So the question becomes 
2 by R1 that is 19 plus 9 R2 is equal to 2 pi R3. 2 pi 2 by cancel. So this becomes R3 is equal to 19 plus 9 that is 28 and the unit is centimeter. So I put centimeter and that is my answer. So the radius of the third circle where the circumference of the first two circle is equal to circle of the second circle will be 28 centimeter and that is my answer. Let's take one more example. The radius of the two circles are 8 centimeter and 6 centimeter respectively. Find the radius of the circle having area equal to the sum of area of two circles. Very similar to the same question but here we are talking about the area is equal to sum of area of two circles. For example, we have one circle here, one circle here and we get a bigger circle, right? So this is circle 1, circle 2 and we get circle 3. So let's suppose this is R1, this is R2 and this is R3. Here the question says area of circle C1 plus area of circle C2 is equal to area of circle C3. So what is the area of circle C1? Pi R1 square. What is the area of circle C2? Pi R2 square. And this becomes area of circle C3 that is pi R3 square. Correct. So let's put the values here. Pi into pi common. R1 square is R1 is 8. 8 square plus R2 is 6 plus 6 square is equal to pi into R3 square. Pi pi cancel or I get R3 is equal to root over 8 square plus 6 square that is root over 64 plus 6 square is 36 that is root over 100 and that does nothing but 10 and the unit is centimeter. So the radius of the circle is 10 centimeter. So this circle is 10 centimeter of radius. Very simple, just draw these two circles and this is equal to the bigger circle, but here the condition is area. Area is equal to sum of the area of the two circles. So we, we say area of C1 plus C2 is equal to area of C3, and thus we got C3 radius as 10 centimeter. Very simple, just understand the question, write it. Solve it. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.